It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word in the Morning, with your host brother Oscar York DeVores, where we are praying up and praising up and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning. Good morning, good morning, brother Oscar. So delighted to be with you this morning. 
Yes, I am. You just heard from uh, acapella. The acapella crew, acapella, Abba Father. And on the end was praise and harmony. Our God is an awesome God. Amen. And amen. Oh, my friend, we need to depend on God. We need, we need to have the talk with Jesus. We'll make it right. Because they are awesome, awesome, awesome God. Amen. And amen. I hope you believe, I hope you believe that this morning. That we serve an awesome God. Yes, we do. I don't know about you, my friend. I just thought about something. I'm going to serve the Lord until my last breath. Amen. <laughs> Whatever that may be. Amen. Praise Him, my friend. Praise Him on the highest. I am the highest. Praise Him and praise Him. My friend, are you ready? Are you ready? Do you have your ears on? Are you ready to pray up and praise up this morning and put that all important snap? Wait for it, wait for it, snap, <laughs> crackle, and pop in your Christian morning. Amen. And amen and amen. I gave Russell a delight to be with you this morning to bring on another episode of Chatting. Uh, from uh, the word, and we hope many of you, many of you uh, receive invitations to listen to us here at nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Amen, amen, and amen. Now, brother Oscar recognized in some places it's a little early, in some places is a little bit late, but we hope at some time. Today, that you get a chance to listen to us here on Cutting from the World. Amen. And a, a man. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will, we will, we will rejoice. And be glad in it. I don't know about you this morning, my friend, but I am going to be rejoiced today. Thanking the Lord for giving this old guy here another day, another time. Keeping all of us on this time side of life. Giving all of us on this time side of life another chance. Another chance. And uh, keeping us on the top soil and not the soil on top of us. Recognizing that many went to sleep last night and did not wake up for the count. So we need to count our blessing. Praise, praise, and praise the Lord this morning. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and a amen. I, uh, I meant to say something here, but uh, this is Friday. This is Friday, and this is the last day of the week we be coming on. We be coming back on with the radio program on Monday. But I've been just, you know, just looking at this, uh, of uh, having a TV show come on tomorrow. We just, you know... Um, tossing it around to see if we can come back on TV with a maybe 15, 20 minutes lesson to help you to with your Saturdays and get in the mood for a Sunday when we're worshiping corporately together. And so we're just, you know, tossing it around, you know. But we'll see on tomorrow if that will be applicable uh, for us to do uh, just just that. Amen. And amen. And my friend, if you live in the areas I live in, Dayton, Ohio, your West character in Ohio, it is cold. <laughs> yes, it is. It is cold. It's 20, 
three degrees and it is cloudy. Woke up this morning, I look out my window and I seen snow and ice. So my friend, if you need to be in the element of things, if you had snow and ice where you are, and if you need to be in the element of things, be careful, be careful, lay up, stay warm, be careful, be watchful, because you never know what may occur. As we say here, stay praying up and praising up on this beautiful, beautiful day. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Bill Oscar just so delighted. Yes, I am. Can you tell him my voice? <laughs> but Bill Oscar just so delighted to be with you this morning. Yes, I am. And to bring on another episode. I'm delighted. I hope you just as delighted that you have that you have your ears on. Amen, amen, and amen. And I just want to welcome those that are having their ears on for the first time. If this is your first time listening to us, don't make it your last time. Come back, come back, and listen to us again. And since this is your first time listening, we're here on Chatting from the Word. We'd love to make you our honorary guest, and we just want to thank you this morning for having your ears on. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> amen, amen. And, uh, hey, amen. And just, since this is your first time listening, we hope that you enjoy the program. We really do. Because we do have a beautiful lesson all planned out for you. We have a beautiful chat all planned out for you. We've been chatting on for the past, well, a couple of weeks from uh, 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, verses 1 to 10. And uh, we're zooming in on verse 7, where Paul is talking about walking by faith. We, Paul says that we shall, uh, we shall walk by faith. And not by sight. Walking by faith and not by sight. And we are talking about walking in the faith, walking in the light. What components is connected to walking by faith? What component is connected to walking in the light? So we're going to talk about that this morning, okay? And, of course, our, our foundation scriptures will be uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 1 through 10, Romans uh, 12, 1 through 10, Hebrews 11, 1 through 6, and 1 John 1, 1 through 10. So, my friend, if you want to hear the chat, keep your ears on, keep listening, and keep your ears on. I know, my friend, I just thought about this. What, what's the best place you can be this morning? If you're at home. If you're at home, what's the best place to be this morning? It's at home. When it's cold and snowy, and we hope that if you're at home, uh, get close to the fire. If you got a fire, if you have a fireplace, get close to the fire, and turn on your uh, your smartphone and listen to us this morning here on Chatting from the Word, where we could put that joy, 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 joy down in your heart. Where? <laughs> Hey, remember that song, putting that joy, joy, joy uh, down in your heart. And we hope that we are doing that this morning. We really are putting that joy, allowing you to know we as Christians can have all the joy, joy, joy in the world. Amen. Amen. And uh, a, a man. 
And my friend, if you love what you're listening to, share this program. Share this program with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbors, those that your friends with on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, or wherever. Share this program. Share, share, and share this fine, fine program. And I believe we just had a station station break. Hold on for a second. All right, that was our manager letting us know they're going to give us some comfort food, popcorn, popcorn, and popcorn. Uh, we just had a station break, and if you're back from our station break, we want to thank you for returning back to our station break. But what we were saying, if you want to listen to the program, you can listen to the program to all any of the networks that we are connected to. And here's our announcer to allow you to know where you can listen to the program. If you're wondering where to listen to the program, of course, you can Google our program chatting from the word hosted by Oscar Hall. You can pull up many of our internet networks, iHeartRadio, 45, Google Podcast, Freaker, and many, many more if you want to catch or listen to our program. Amen and a, a, a man. If you want to listen to the program live, you can go to Spreaker, you can go to YouTube or any other stations that are carrying us live. Or if you uh, don't have time to listen to us live, you can also catch the free recording shows that we have or we are playing. Okay, you can catch the shows and uh, pre-recorded, and you can, as, as our announcer just announced, you can uh, Google it, put it in your browser, chat it from the word, uh, uh, hosted by Oscar, and many of our shows and our stations that we call more should, should uh, appear. Amen and amen. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. It's our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here, or I'm chatting from the Word, you can send it to our email addresses, which is warcase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com, or chatting from the Word at gmail.com, or you can put it on our Facebook page, our Messenger page, or you can put it under any program that you are listening to. This is our prayer time. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, that calls me from Oh. 
Amen and amen. Again, this is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to those entities we have just mentioned. And as always, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that's fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'll be just so delighted and so pleased to do just that. Again, this is our prayer time. And if you uh, have a copy of God's Word and want to follow us in our prayer time reading, our prayer time reading will be coming from the book of Psalms, the 55th Division. That is the book of Psalms, the 55th division, verses 1 through 7. And in Psalms, the 55th division, the psalmist penned these words. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint. Make a noise. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is so pain within me, and the terrors of death are falling upon me. Fearfulness and Trembling of the uh, come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. And I said that all, oh, and I said, all oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Though then I would, would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. So I think about it. Think about it. With all the chaos and problems that goes on in life, many of us wish we could just get away from it all and be at rest and be at peace. But Jesus, in Matthew 11, 28, remind us that he can be that peace for you. For Jesus tells us, come unto him, all you that labor, 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 and I will give you rest. Amen, and a, amen. My friend, are you ready to approach the throne of grace so that we may have a little talk with our Father in the name of Jesus? Amen. Sweet our Father, Sweet our Father who created this vast universe in which we live. Father, you said, let there be light that was light. And Father, you made us man. Father, you made us man. You, the Son and the Holy Spirit, made us from the particles of dust mold us and made us and breathe with our nostrils the breath of life that we became a living soul. Oh God, we come this morning thanking you for granting us another day. A day on yesterday was not even promised. But Father, because of your love, because, Father, of your tender mercy, you allow us to be on the top soil and not to soil on top of us. Oh, Father, 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 we thank you, thank you 
so much for that. I probably special thank you for allowing the only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down from the beauty of heaven, down to the sin-sick world to show us how to love, to show us how to live and to connect with you. And Father, for this we are so, so thankful for. Father, we thank you by allowing the only begotten Son to die on the cross for us, taking our place, becoming sin, so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you so much, so much. So much for that sacrifice. Father, we come pray for this world in which we live. We pray for all the disasters going on. Father, we pray for earthquakes in diverse of places. We pray for storms and hurricanes that have destroyed lives and changed lives. We pray for all the fires that has occurred, seem like out of nowhere. Father, we pray for all the massive killings that is going on. Father, we pray for all the robberies that have happened. And Father, we pray for all the victims and the victims' families that you be with them and help them this morning to look up to you from whence come at their help. And Father, we come praying for wars and winter wars. We pray for armies and Israel. We pray for Russia and Ukraine, for we pray that they may find that peace and that peace that brings about an understanding. And for all we come praying for every boy, girl, man, and woman who wants to accept Jesus Christ before us everlastingly and eternally too late, for we pray that they do it. Do it soon as today. And Father, we come praying for those who have lost loved ones. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we come praying for those that have lost loved ones by the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we come praying for each police officer who has given their life, life in the line of duty. Father, we pray for their families. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for all of our political leaders, Father. Father, we pray that you help them to make good laws, but not laws that are forbidding us of worshiping you in spirit and truth, but laws where we all can live in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, we pray for the church once again. Father, we pray that you allow the church to continue on being the lighthouse, leading others to Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, Father, we pray. We pray for all of our listeners this morning. Father, we pray that if they are in an area that's getting snow, that they are staying warm and inside if they can. But Father, we pray that you protect them. Help them through all their doubts and fears. For I cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they want to resurface any any more. Oh, Father, we pray for my nephew and his wife. Father, we pray that you protect them, help them to look up to you from whence come at their help. Help them, Father, to stay on their knees and pray. Help them, Father, where they can allow you to be their counselor. Oh, Father, we pray, we pray, Father, for our program this morning. Father, we pray. Father, that you will help us to keep this program on the airways. Father, we pray, Father, that you help us to keep on teaching and preaching your word. Father, Father, we pray for the lesson today and house not made with hands. Father, we pray that you may help us to say the right thing, to help someone to find you, to help someone to keep in you, and to help someone to be saved and help someone with their problems. And Father, we pray for those that are having problems, problems on the job, problems marital, in their marital problems, mental problems, 
financial problems, problems in the home, problems in the schools, problems on the job, problems in the church, problems, problems, problems. Father, again, we pray that they look up to you, which coming, their help. Their help comes from you who made heaven and earth. And Father, we pray for those that are teaching your, and preaching word against all odds. Father, we pray that they continue preaching your word regardless what Satan may throw at them. That they keep on having the courage and the fortification to preach and to teach your word. And Father, 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 as always, we pray that you keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. reading our scripture text along with us, or praying along with us. And as always, we hope that we pray for something uh, that's on your minds. And as I continue saying, if you have a prayer request, you can send it to those entities we have just, uh, just uh, uh, mentioned. Yes, I forgot. So, brother, that yeah, oh, yes, they asked me to pray for his work and, and for his son, so we want to the keep his... Son in this prayer. I need to look over my records again. <laughs> my page. Sorry about that. But we, if you have a prayer request, just send it on in and we will pray for that request. It is time for our chat for today. A house not made with hands taken from 2 Corinthians 5 to 1 through 10. Brother Oscar, it is time. Come on down. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> I am here, I am here, I am here. <laughs> amen, amen, and amen. Now, we hope that you still have years on and ready for the chat. And as I have said on many occasions, this is the best part of the program for me was when I'm chatting with you about God's Word. Because it's God's Word that's going to save us in the end. Not you, not me, but it's God's word. And it's God's word that we are following, that should we, we should follow if we expect to go to heaven one day. And with all the confusion that's going on in the world today, uh, it's easy to fall prey to Satan. It's easy, very easy to fall prey to Satan's whims. Because Satan has tools he is using and people that he's using. Even people in our families that he would use to knock us off course when it comes uh, to following him. So we must watch out. Satan, uh, Peter say he's like a roaring, roaring lion seeking who he may devour. He's not just a lion sitting still. <laughs> He's a roaring lion. And those are dangerous ones that's roaring and ready and looking for something to eat up. <laughs> Amen, brother. I say amen. I hope that you're warm. I know it's cold outside, and many of you 
need to be out, and if you need to be out, just uh, take us with you. Okay, you pull us up on your iPhone, a smartphone, or whatever, and listen to Chatting from the Word. Let us be in your ears this morning. I've always said, do you have ears on? <laughs> are you listening? And we're so thankful to those that are listening and uh, are in a part of the program this morning. Um, I would chat this morning, although many. I mean, sure, bro, I also you just teach so long, <laughs> too long. <laughs> I, I just, I just want to make sure that we are on the same page when it comes to the Word of God. And that's why I actually always get the Bibles out. I really, uh, I really mean that. And I hope you all relax. I really do. I hope you relax. Go ahead on and have a cup of your favorite drink, hot coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, whatever it may be. Get relaxed. If you relax and you're reclining, you can recline on out. If you're more relaxed sitting at the dinette table, go ahead and have a seat. But what we request is for you to have a copy of God's Word so that you may study with us, read along with us to see what we're saying is in the Word of God. Turn to our text, which is uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 1 to 10, and that's where we'd be coming from. Uh, we are zooming on verses 7 and 8 this morning. And, of course, we're going to Romans. We're going to finish up in Romans and uh, and by that time, we should be, the lesson should be yours, okay? So, we hope that you're turning your pages. Are you, do you have a copy of God's Word? Go get it. Go get it because we want to reason together. We want to try to reason uh, with you when it comes to the Word of God. Can we, can we reason together this morning? Oh, Brother Oscar, hope that you and I can reason together on this beautiful, beautiful Wintery uh, morning, and we hope that you still have your ears on. So go ahead and turn with me to uh, 2 Corinthians 5. And we're going to zoom in on verse 7, and then we're going to go back to Romans 12. And from uh, in Romans, uh, excuse me, in 2 Corinthians 5, Paul, in verse 7 and 8, Paul Pen these words. Paul says, hold on for a moment. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Paul says these words. Paul says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. And in verse 8, Paul said, we are confident I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Here, Paul, first of all, he talks about walking by, uh, we walk by faith, and we went to First John 1, uh, verses 1 to 10, where, where John said, walking in the light, and basically, that has the same connotation. When you're walking by faith, you're walking in the light. And when you're walking by faith, in other words, you have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sins. That's what John is saying. Because John said we all are capable of sinning. And since we all are capable of sinning, we need each other. We need to follow fellowship with one another. We need to help each other when we're going through some type tight situations. Again, we're talking about the component of walking in faith. What does that consist of? What do that look like? What do we do when we are walking by faith? And then Paul says in Romans 12, and this is where we left off on yesterday, Paul says that it is a transformed life. It is a lifestyle of being uh, different from the world. Because Paul said we should not allow the world to conform to us. Uh, conform to this world, Paul says. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds. 
And as we said the other day, many of us are so conformed to this world, we don't know the difference, don't we? Do we know the difference when we are sinning? Do we know the difference when we are walking away from God's word? Do we know the difference? And many do not know, even in the body of Christ, where the line ends and where it begins. Where it ends or where it begins. And many of us, we out there doing everything that we can, uh, uh, that we do. Don't worry about what the Word of God has to say. And don't think about the Word of God. But don't you know that when you're living by faith, walking by faith, walking in the light, it's a lifestyle of living for God. It's a lifestyle for living for God. And that's life. Is, that's just don't stop when you go to the church house. Yes, yes, I said that. <laughs> Amen. I'm not going to take it back. Living a transformed life do not stop at the church house. It's a continuation. It's a lifestyle of living for Jesus Christ. That's why I say every, every morning do you have your ears on. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Are you ready to be uplifted this morning in the name of Jesus? Because our life should be a life of praising the Lord whenever we get that opportunity. Whenever we get that opportunity and the way technology is today, we can take our iPhone and tune into a good program that's talking the truth of God's word where well, we can be uplifted and transformed and continue being transformed by his word. Amen. But the components of sin, and I believe that, that Paul, and I want you to listen to what Paul says here in Romans 12. And, and let's go to uh, uh, verse 9. Because I, I think verse 9 talks about some components of faith too. And here Paul tells us here, let love be without dissimulation, abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Abhor it. Don't, don't, don't mess with it. Don't mess with evil. But cleave, cleave, cling to that which is good. This is one of the components of living by faith. And then Paul says in verse 10, be kindly, affectionate, one towards another, or one to another, with brotherly love, in honor, preferring one another, not locally in business, fervent in spirit, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continue instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of the saints, given to hospitality, bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind, one towards another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as I then you live peaceable with all men. And these are the components of the elements of faith. How do walking in faith looks like? And most people, they like to go back and grab the, the laws that Moses received on Mount Sinai. But we know it's more to it than that today. We know it's not about what you do, but who you are, who you are connected with. And if you live in that lifestyle he lived, if you're walking in that light, and that's what it's about today. It's about love. It's about helping one another. 
It is about being like Jesus Christ. If you want to know how to walk by faith, do what Christ did. If you want to know if this is wrong, live like Christ. And many of us today, I'm going to mention it, we, we ponder what sin is. A lot of us, we, we show sure out of that a little drink, ain't nothing wrong with it. But it, will Christ do it? Will Christ do it? With the apostles, I know at one point, Paul told Timothy, drink a little wine for your stomach sake, all that ails you. That what Paul told Timothy. So basically, the wine that Timothy was talking about, or asking permission to drink, could be the hard stuff, <laughs> if I could put it like that. Because we know that many times the Bible talks about wine when Jesus commemorated the Lord's Supper. And many believe that's the wine that, that we drink today that is uh, fermented. But what the wine they drunk, the wine they were really talking about, new wine, which was grape juice. So, my friends, if you're wondering the components of sin, the components of walking by faith is walking as Jesus walked in the light, having fellowship with each other, praying to the Father on a constant basis. Oh, Jesus talked with the Father on a constant basis as he lived down here on this earth. And the question is, do you have a constant lifestyle living for Jesus, a living like Jesus, connecting to the Father on a constant basis. Because many of us, we only pray when we get in trouble. That's the only time we fall on our knees. But other than that, we ain't thinking about the Father. We're not thinking about talking to Jesus. We're not thinking about uh, telling Jesus I'm happy today, thanking Jesus for another day. Some of us, we only pray when we are, are saying, help me, Lord. That's when a lot of us who don't believe start believing when we are going through some something. And Brother Oscar going to say it like that. The component of walking by faith, of walking in the light, what do that consist of? My friend, we need to walk in the faith. And as Paul says, and going back to 2 Corinthians 5, 7, and 8, if we're walking by faith, we can have that confident, that confident. We can have that confident. Paul says in uh, verse, verse 8, Paul says we can have that confident we can have that faith. We can have that assurance. Because Paul said in verse 8, we are confident. And that's the word confident. Is Brother Oscar reading that right? Paul said we can have, we are, no, excuse me, I did be wrong. <laughs> we are confident. Oh, we have that confidence, but we are confident. I see, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. I'm confident. Paul said, we are confident. Aren't you confident when you're in the spirit? Or are you more confident when you're in the flesh? Are you confident when you're walking in the spirit? Or are you confident when you're walking in the flesh? Oh, my friend, we need to find confidence. In the spirit, we need to find confidence in walking in light. We need to find confidence in walking as Jesus walked, following Jesus. Paul said in, in the uh, first Corinthians 11, follow me as I follow Christ. We need to find that confidence that Paul is talking about here, being absent from the body, but being in the spirit. And that's why Paul said, I, I, I love being more in the spirit than in the flesh. And if we are going to, uh, and if we're going to get help uh, to combat Satan, we need to walk in the spirit. We need to be reading up the word of God to see what's in it. We need not just read but study. 
The Bible says, establish your life self approved unto God a workman that need not to be ashamed. Then, then, then Jesus said, if you have, if you believe that you have a, a salvation, study. Study the word of God. Study. And then you think, if you think, you say, study the word. Study the word to make sure of your faith. And many of us don't want to study. And then, gentlemen, brother, I, I just can't read that well. Nowadays, you have, you know, uh, programs that will, you can get an app, a Bible app that reads the Bible, and I have one on my phone. I pull it up sometimes. I can't see how to read. I pull up my Bible app, and I let it talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. And that's what Brother Oscar does. Read the scripture in them if you think you have eternal life. Read the scripture. Read about Jesus Christ. Read about his lifestyle. Read about the apostles. See how they worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. And find comfort. Of course, many of us will go back to the Old Testament. And it's good to read the Old Testament and see how the other, uh, others uh, fought. Uh, I had faith, Daniel, David, Samuel, uh, Cain and Abel, how Cain flew Abel. We can read about that. We can read about Lot, his wife, turned to a pillar of salt when she looked back. We can read about that. Many good stories in the Old Testament. We can read about that when it comes to the life of walking in the faith. Abraham walked by faith. Abraham got to Abraham, got his father's house, and go to the land that I will show to you. I'll show you. Walking by faith. Are you walking by faith? Do you have that confidence in Jesus Christ? Have that confidence. Have that faith, have that trust, have that love. Amen. Amen. That's all I have for you today. We are so thankful to be able to chat with you this morning. We really are. And like I said, we're going to try to come on TV tomorrow. We're going to try. We're going to see how it goes. Okay, so don't hold that. Don't hold that. Don't hold Brother Oscar to that. But we're going to give it a try, and we hope that this is the weekend coming up, and we hope on Sunday you go praise the Lord corporately, either streaming or going to the building. Go praise the Lord. Sunday is the Lord's Day all day. Amen. And uh, amen again. We're so delighted that you kept your ears on to the whole program. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, Lord, be thy name. Thy kingdom is here, Father, Father, we pray, uh, and thanksgiving, Father, we thank you for allowing us to have this program and the host chatting from the Word, Father, we thank you for allowing us to chat from the Word this morning, we really, really do, and Father, we pray for all of our listeners, Father, we pray that they stay praying up and praising up and walk with that snap, crackle, and pop with each step that they are taking. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion, of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye and may God bless.